My name is Dr Tammy Horton and I'm the curator of the Discovery Collections here at the National Oceanography Centre in Southampton. Well, I look after this unique resource here at the National Oceanography Centre which, look, which contains all of the samples and specimens that we collect on research cruises. These research cruises have been taking place since 1925 and all of the biological samples come back here for a scientist to study and so I look after those. So I've always had an interest in marine natural history so I spent my childhood playing on the shores um, and I always wanted to be a marine biologist but the path to get here has been kind of different so I studied just biology at um, university at the Imperial College London um, and after that I realised I wanted to specialise a little bit more and find out where my strengths lay so I did a MSc in Aquatic Resource Management I did that at King's College in London. Now after that I worked for a year at the Environment Agency and it was around that time that I realised that I really my heart lay with research so I wanted to do research and I was lucky enough to get a, a PhD studying fish parasitology um, and I did that in Reading which is probably the furthest you can get away from the sea. Um, and it was during that time that I worked at the Natural History Museum in London and then my whole world just changed. It opened up to me that there was this whole field of research called taxonomy, which is the description and classification of animals. Um, and that's where I really, really found my pathway um, into marine science and marine taxonomy. And that's mostly what I do now. So I describe species new to science and um, work on classification of new marine animals. So I've, um, I've been lucky enough to take part in two research expeditions to um, study uh, what's found in those particular areas. Uh, one was back in 2002 and we were working north of Shetland and west of Shetland and into the Norwegian basin, taking lots of cores of the seabed and seabed photography. Um, and it was, a, it was a great experience and it's given me uh, the chance to understand, although I don't go to sea so much anymore, it gave me the opportunity to see firsthand how these samples that I now look after are collected and a better understanding of all the problems and the logistics and the technology that is behind how we get our samples and how we understand um, the deep oceans. It's so difficult to pin that down to one favourite thing because I think one of the greatest things about working here is, is the, the variability. So my job it's split into two parts, so I look after the discovery collection so I can be down here in the collections uh, moving samples from uh, preservatives into different jars and preparing them to send to other scientists. But equally I do my own research and I suppose uh, my favourite part of my own research is that point when I am looking at a, a particular specimen and I realise that it's a new species to science and it's a real eureka moment, it's that moment that I'm looking down and knowing that I'm the first person to recognise this species, probably the first person to see that animal and um, that I get to name it after that. There's so many benefits to working in the National Oceanography Centre. Um, it's about who we're working with, it's about the people, it's the access to some of the greatest scientific minds. And knowing that, I, I mean, I don't know everything about physical oceanography or chemical oceanography, but if I need to, I know that I can just pop along the corridor and someone there will be able to help me out and provide more depth and understanding to the work that I'm doing. So that ability to collaborate with researchers just in one building is amazing. Um, equally just um, knowing that we have all the technology available to us um, and knowing that we have the, the best people working on that on site and that we can find out oh, I have an idea about I want to go and do this. I can speak to someone and say is this feasible? All of that is just an amazing benefit of working at NOC. Science is something that anyone can do. So um, it doesn't matter um, what, what gender, sex, um, 
what background you have, uh, where, where you've grown up, none of that matters. It's just about the science and the passion for what we do. And I think it, anyone, if they have a passion, can follow these pathways. It's about where you want to go, not where you've come from.